Now, if you have any scars on your body, then you have a tangible reminder the human body isn't perfect when it comes to healing, but there's more potential inside of us. It's an incredible story. Yeah. The future may be less about healing injured body parts and more about regenerating new ones. Fox 61's Tim Lammers got to meet one Connecticut doctor who's leading the way in what we're calling the sassy side of science. It is an almost impossibly ambitious project, one that could be the future of medicine. We can see here the healthy joint in which we can see all the uh, red and, and, uh, and purple areas of the, of the cartilage surface. But today, more modestly, we're talking about arthritis in rats. In osteoarthritis, we can see again the loss of our red and purple, with a lot of destruction taking place at the uh, in the area of the uh, in the area of the joint. Dr. Cato Lorenzen literally wrote the books on regenerative engineering. Here at Yukon Health in Farmington, he's explaining to me how he used stem cells from adipose or fat tissue to almost reverse time in the joints. We found that that it actually reversed the osteoarthritis that took place. Now, that alone isn't groundbreaking, but this is. When we use our sassy cells, we actually see a reconstitution. We see that the cartilage is back, that these red and purple areas are back, and there's much, much better architecture. And it's just like with the adipose derived stem cells, we see that too. Natural stem cells reverse the degeneration from 30% to 10%, but he got the same results from a brand new class of stem cells, a class he invented. And we call them synthetic artificial stem cells or sassy cells. He said sassy cells can have all the benefits of natural stem cells, but are easier to work with. There are a number of different drawbacks to using conventional stem cells. First of all, most stem cells you have to use are your own from your own body. Which means cutting into fat or bone and then taking time to isolate the cells. There's also quality control. Human stem cells can vary in quality, either by being too weak or too different to work well. Sassy cells are more uniform and they're more tailorable for different treatments. And because they don't have antigens, they're less likely to be rejected by the immune system. And really, they don't stick around long in the body anyway. That's because, like many stem cells, they work on what's called the paracrine effect. Much like the mRNA and COVID vaccines, the stem cells don't directly do the work. Instead, they instruct the body on what to do before fading away. There we go. And bringing that together to create these sassy cells and with this first set of studies is it's exciting. These sassy cells that Dr. Lorenzen developed are just the latest innovation in a larger field called regenerative medicine. I know it sounds like mad science fiction, but if you think this is out there, wait till you see what he's got planned for the future. We're excited about it, using it for a variety of different uh, different uh, conditions. Tell me about the variety. What do you think they can do 10, 20 years from now? Well, we, we the, the next project we're working on is, is sassy shoulder, uh, a sassy shoulder, where uh, we, we try to regenerate the rotator cuff. Dr. Lorenzen said sassy cells could be used someday to regrow bones and nerves, even cardiac tissue, and then to literally put it all together our work, the work that, that we're doing is part of a, a larger project, which is called the Hartford Engineering a Limb Project. So we here are working to regenerate an entire limb by 2030. Yes, you heard that right. I want to regenerate an entire leg by 2030. This is about four years ago. So what if somebody told you you're inventing the fountain of youth? Well, you know, it's the, I, want to, I want to make it clear, it's not a panacea. There's a lot of work to, to go. In terms of the work that we've done, uh, again, um, it's taken years for us to get here. And it will take years and some dollars to get to the, uh, to the next level. But I'm excited and optimistic about, about where we're going. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61 News.